Hey Simlies, it's Deligracy here. Welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Twins Part 36. Uh, that was an interesting introduction, wasn't it? Anyways, our cowplant is super hungry. He's holding out the cake of death and we don't really want anyone to go ahead and eat that. So what I might get, uh, actually it's in Laurie's part of the hood. So let's get Laurie to feed. We won't eat the cake because we don't want Mr. Cowplant to die. I love his little tail. How cute is the tail? It like wags and it's so cute. I swear the Sims creators are geniuses. Oh, there we go. Got to feed, got to feed up that cow plant. That's for sure. Can we feed him some more? Oh, that booty. Look at, oh, we missed it. It's okay. We don't really give the girl some privacy. Let's just feed a few times. Uh, so, so milkshake doesn't get too, uh, too hungry too soon. We don't want Milkshake eating our guests now, do we? Uh, I also have to apologize in the last part. I kept calling um, Bryce Thorn and Thorn Bryce. I get them confused all the time. And you guys were like, you were just calling Bryce Thorn legit the whole time. So uh, let's get him out of Laurie's bed because that's weird. That's not where you're meant to sleep. Uh, you have your own bedroom over in this house. So you need to get used to sleeping there. Uh... Let's change the color of this. Oh, look, Niles has come for a visit. Oh, he's come to see his son. That's really cute. Uh, purchase fish, fully stocked with fish. I wonder if we can actually put a fish that we have in our inventory into the fish tank. That's actually something I don't, uh, that I don't actually know. I don't know. And uh, I wonder if we can sell these, like sell them on the black market police evidence. I bet you people do that in real life. Um, maybe, I don't know. All right, I do love this house, it's so cute. Now, uh, Aria, how are we going? Um, she's pretty sleepy, she can eat in the morning, that's fine. Loza had all the boys over and in the last part I actually read, uh, one simile said Laurie kind of seems like the type of girl who would date a lot of different guys and maybe, um, I mean, I was thinking maybe she might date a lot of boys and then realize James is actually the guy for her. Because I, I feel like James is meant to be with her. And I think a lot of other similes feel that way. Excuse me. If you're going to go to bed, go to bed properly. That's what I always say. I always need pajamas on. I swear if I don't have pajamas on or like some kind of sleepwear, I just, I love her hippie clothes. Uh, I just, I don't know. I just don't, don't like it. Don't like it. Uh, Bryce has school today. And I was thinking we need to get Bryce a girlfriend or boyfriend. Um, I'm not sure. I don't really see his character as gay at this point in the LP. Um, maybe bi? Maybe? But I was thinking uh, maybe we could... Ooh, we could clean this up. That's something we could do. Uh, have breakfast. You know what? You know what? Let's get you to serve breakfast. You need to get... Oh, damn it. He's already at school. What I was saying was I was thinking that we should get Bryce a lady or maybe a guy. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I mean, Thorn, not Bryce. Damn it. I did it again. <laughs> we should get Thorn a girlfriend or boyfriend. So I was thinking if you guys have any characters, I would love to see them on the gallery. Just upload them with the hashtag uh, hashtag Thorn GFBF. Okay, I'll put it on the screen if I remember to, but hashtag Thorn GFBF. And we'll get him a girlfriend or boyfriend. He's in high school, by the way, so make sure they're a teen. Um, just put an adult with them in the family if you want. Um, and then, yeah, it's actually really easy to place them if they have an adult with them because they can place them straight into town. And so that would be great. Uh, Aria is working in two days, so she has two days off. That's good. We can work on her relationship. And also, Loza is... I think she doesn't work for two days. Okay. Uh, but I, I really see Aria as a family person. I think she really wants to settle down and, and become a mother. That's how I see it. Oh, nice dress, girl. Oh, she's going to go... Oh, don't mourn. Don't mourn your dad. That's just, That's just... That's so sad. Uh, she's she's a bit domestic, I think. So let's get her to clean this up. And um, yeah, actually, in the last part, I I was saying how I always saw 
I've always thought of um, Arya and Laurie having a British accent. And uh, I realized that was kind of not very thoughtful because clearly uh, my British accent that I did was an English accent um, because obviously England is not the only country in Britain. So I apologize for anyone that I may have offended. Um, and my accent was terrible. I just said that I thought Arya and Laurie would speak a little bit like this and now I'm from Cockney. So I have completely changed how I speak and I don't think I should ever do an accent in an LP ever again. I love this bed outfit. I love it because it's so not glamorous, but so realistic. You just wear comfy pants and like a sports bra to bed. Uh, and I like that she... Laurie is probably loving the fact that her <laughs> kind of brother-in-law, stepbrother, uh, is becoming a great cook. She's like, mm, I love just popping over next door to my sister's house and just eating the food he's made. Uh, she'd totally like that. So I was thinking maybe we'll do a little bit of fitness. She can have something to eat, then have a shower. Aria, I feel like she's... Oh. Oh, well, that's awkward. The awkward moment when you freeze and cannot move any further. Um, actually, that's really sad because that is definitely a reality for a lot of people. So, um, that's no good. Hmm. I think what we'll do is we'll actually get Thorn into gardening. Thorn? Not Bryce. Yes, Thorn into gardening because that might help his cooking skill as well. Um, but in terms of Arya, did we put in any... I can't... Are you still... Is still hungry? How many times do you need to feed this thing? Oh my gosh. This is like a serious pet. I feel like this cow is not going to last for long. I'm sorry, you guys. I just feel like I have difficulty. Should we just feed it many a times until it cannot be fed anymore? Like a lethal cow plant. She probably would have eaten the cake then if we hadn't kept an eye. He's wagging his tail. Is she even scared when she feeds him? I don't think he's eating anymore. He's gonna eat it? Milkshake? No, he doesn't want it. Okay, fine. Stay hungry. We ain't eating your cake, though. Mm -mm. Um, speaking of which, we will just have... Uh, BLT quickly. Yeah, let's get Laurie to... You know what? Let's invite James over. I feel like she'd always go back to James. I love that she's just, you know, having a shower or a bath at Arya's house. <laughs> Probably because Arya's house would be cleaner. And then she couldn't be bothered cleaning the house half the time. All right, James will be over in just a sec. Oh my gosh, go away, Jace. We don't like you. We don't like you. We don't like you. you like cheated on both of us. Um, invite in. Is he hungry again? Okay, good. Milkshake's happy. Milkshake's happy. Everybody's happy. Oh, hey, boy. He's such a um. He's such like a bad boy. He looks kind of tired right then. He has a really deep voice. It's like, hello. Hello. All right, this just looks awkward, doesn't it? They're just like standing there. Uh, joke about politicians. It's going to take us a very long time to just get them back on terms. Oh, he thought we were hilarious, so that's good. Let's joke about fashion. Are you wearing Jonas? Ha 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 ha. He's not really there. He's like wearing really nice boots. Imply mother is a llama. I don't think so. Criticize woohoo techniques. That is like the cruelest thing you could ever do to a person. Like, you, you know. You just know. Tell a joke about engineers. Tell a funny story. Actually, one time, this is a true story. I got double dacked in primary school. It was so sad. It was. It was devastating. I got double dacked in front of 
all the boys at my school. Well, not all of them at my school, but by a lot. Because we used to play this game on the Flying Fox where um, the girls were on one team, the boys were on the other team. And the girls were at one end, the boys were at the other end of the Flying Fox. And you... Insufferably tedious conversation. Come on, guys. Otherwise, I'm going to have to, like, cheat them back to being nice to each other. And I don't really want to have to do that. Oh, look, they're getting a little bit of green. That's nice. You know what? Let's speed this up a little bit. Oh, actually, let's get Arya to... Um, I really want Arya to focus on some of her health and well-being. So that's why I bought this mat and I would like her to do a yoga routine. I think she should get her energy centered because it is a beautiful day in Willow Creek to center your energy, to center your mind. And oh, back to my dacking story. Okay, my double dacking story. We're on the flying fox, girls at one end, boys at the other end. And basically um, the aim of it is to fly across the flying fox to the boy's side push off um, the post at the end of the flying fox back to the girl side without anyone pulling you off the flying fox. It's boys versus girls. Um, great to see Thorns back home. Let's get him to shower, eat, and have some fun. Okay. So, yeah, I um, unfortunately was going to the boys' um, side to push off the post, and a guy grabbed me, and uh, he... Pulled down my pants and my undies. And I was in such shock. I was like eight years old that I just hung there and butt naked. Beaver facing the front, bum facing the girls. And um, it wasn't until one of the girls said, Maddie, go run, go tell a teacher that I like ran. And I remember like pulling up my <laughs> undies as I ran. Oh gosh, it was awful. I went home and I cried and cried and cried in my bunk bed. And I like refused to go to school the next day, but my mum made me go. And you know what? I happened to enjoy school from then on. I feel like Ari is fabulous at this. Uh, let's see. Oh, Laurie and Jace. Oh, so I'm not going too well. What are you? Oh, no. Bryce is cooking. Good to see. Jace is chilling in Ari's house. Is she going to go play? Come on, Laurie. Don't play with your pet. Smooth apology. What did you do now? Oh, no. Now they're in the red. I don't like I don't know how to fix this. Get to know. It's just like there's been so much damage done from her breaking up with him. It's just It's really difficult to get back to square one. And so for a really tedious conversation again. Like come on you guys. What happens if we do a pickup line? Will that work? Will they be all flirt and no friendship? <laughs> Cheer him up. Did that work? No, he didn't want to be cheered up either. Okay. You know what, James? You can leave. Ask to leave. We don't have time for this. Ain't nobody got time for this. Who else can we pick up? Prince is cool. Ernest. Maybe we should go out. Travis, William. Zigafoni, you're being a ferny. Let's give Thorn some attention. I should really get going now. Yeah, you should. You should. Oh, so cute. You know what, Laurie? You need to go to the toilet. You need to have some fun. Oh, he loves his food. I hope he becomes a little bit chubby because Niles always had a little bit of a pot belly. It was all so cute. Oh, so cute. Now, remembering that he, uh, Thorn is a bit gloomy, I think he's also a little bit of a loner, maybe? Uh, I feel like he keeps to himself a lot, so the girls don't really, um, he doesn't really socialize that much with the girls. What, is he eating more? You're like, actually, did I get him to do that by accident? You're actually going to become large. That's okay. Oh, she's feeling energized. Good on you, girl. Good on you. Uh, okay, so. I kind of, I really want Laurie to get with a boy. I really do. So I feel like we should just go out. 
see who's out and about. Like maybe if we go to the park over here. The first boy who comes, we should go say hello. Such a pretty little park to have next door. I mean, I love all of these like floaty things in the air. I think it's so lovely. We could go jogging, that's another idea. Get a bit of eczema size. I mean, look at that, it's the most beautiful jogging track. And I love that she's keeping to the path, that's awesome. She's actually losing uh, her six pack that she originally had, so we need to keep up that fitness. Keep her jogging, keep her moving. I don't see any boys here. I see a girl. Um, yeah. We could hang out with our friend. Who's this? Oh, that's a child. That's not appropriate. Uh, oh, cool house. She's just embarrassed. So I feel like Laurie, she's just like jogging it off. Which is cool. What's he doing? He's tense. He's in desperate need of fun. So let's get him to go have fun. Cool. You can play with your iPad. I is um, just playing. Let's invite Eric over. Love Eric. I'd love him to get married. And also you guys were saying Eric and her should really... Um, Eric and Arya... I mean, sorry. Eric should get a... Oh, look at the sunlight. He's busy. Excuse me? You ain't busy for us. We're busy for you, if anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of you guys said Eric should have a makeover. And I feel like Arya would give Eric that makeover. You know what? We'll go out then. If you if you don't want if the boys don't want to hang out with us, we'll hit up the town and I feel like Laurie would be like, come on Arya, we're going out. Yeah, we're gonna go out. We are going to just ask on date. No, we don't want to ask anyone on a date. I'm just playing a game. Let's just travel. Travel with your sister, sissy. Oh gosh, they really need to work on their friendship. Maybe seeming they're not living together anymore. They've been quite alienated from each other. And let's be honest, they've been through a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, you know what? They, they deserve a little bit of time. Um, to rekindle their friendship. New crest. I can't remember what things I put in here. here. Oh, we could go to New Crest Park or the Backyard Bar. Let's go to the Backyard Bar. I love the Backyard Bar. Oh, I have a foot cramp. I actually did boxing today and it was really fun. Oh, I think I'm getting a bit fitter now. The only thing I really struggle with at boxing is undercuts. So it's where you punch uh, upwards from your waist. And um, that's really hard. Oh my God, we have $24,000 <laughs> worth of bills. That is nutballs. Oh, that girl's top is very low cut. Excuse me, you guys. Pfft, of course, Jace would be the one knocking stuff over. Okay, so this is a backyard bar. This is just a little build I did. And uh, I just feel like these girls should just hang out as... The friends that they are. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's just change them into something nicer. Change outfit into party wear. Girls have gone out for the night. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's right. I did put a TV here, so everyone's going to stand around the toilets uh, because it was required on the lot. Ugh. Let's go like this. There we go. They look so cute. Super cute. Alrighty, let's order some drinks. Uh, order a drink, a buffalo wing tea, and uh, we'll order a drink. I feel like uh, maybe a tang and a zing for Laurie. Love her outfit. I, I actually love this play suit. Jay, stop following us. He's like stalking the girls, I swear. The prettiest girls in town. They look quite different. They look quite different, but they actually have the same face, just different hair color and eyebrows. Let's just let them chat to each other. 
She had a brilliant idea. Heartfelt compliment. Then we might ask about favorite favorite author. That's a very Aria thing to ask. Oh, look who it is, Juliet. Jay, seriously, he's stalking us. He's trying to get back with Laurie. Been equipped. Perhaps, but these girls, they're not going to go there. They're not going to fall for that again. Come on, Catelyn. Catelyn. <laughs> Different. We could get with Gregory, but he looks a bit older for Laurie. What about this guy? He's cute. Ale oh my god, that's Alexander Goth. <gasps> Say what? Could definitely see Laurie living in the Goths' mansion. That's for sure. Drink. <laughs> Appreciate classical music. I can't hear it. You know what, Laurie? Why don't you go over here? Talk to this boy. Greet new neighbor. Oh, <laughs> he's like trying to pick her up, but he's feeling really awkward. He's like, ah, I don't know what to say. You look so beautiful today. <laughs> he just went, hey. <laughs> and Laurie clearly has no idea. She's like, someone behind me. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Jace is like, mate, you've got no chance. Get away from us, Jace. Do not sit next to us. Talk about cooking. Oh, yeah. Did we just shut him down? I hope we did. He got negative flirts. Come on. Talk to Alexander Goth. He's so cute. He's trying really hard with Laurie and she's just giving him donuts, I swear. And Jace is just getting in between them the whole time. Oh, heartfelt compliment. There we go. Much better. Ask about day. Discuss interests. Maybe chat about property value because they're both really wealthy young people. Uh, get to know. I feel like he totally was just flirt, like trying to get up the courage to talk to Laurie. And she's like, he's clearly not her type. She's into badass boys, but she's still giving, like g chatting to him. She's nice. Why don't we make friends with Adriana Hart? Friendly introduction. Oh, he loves the outdoors and he's a bookworm. How sweet. That's so sweet. Oh my god, leave Jace. <laughs> oh, I swear. Can we give him the cold shoulder or something? Insult him? I don't know. You know what? We don't even have time for you. We do not have time for you. Complain about local youths, aka Jace. Gossip about neighbors. Tell joke about. Good. This friendship's going really well. Share brilliant idea. Compliment outfit. Oh, I love that crab top you're wearing, Alexander. Aria, come on. <laughs> She's just laughing in the corner by herself near the toilets. I mean, really. Why don't we make friends with this girl? She's cool. She's got really nice clothes. She thought, These are like her, her biffles. They're all blondes. Hip bump. Adriana and Adelaide and Aria, the three A's. Oh, that's so funny. Hanging out with her girlfriends. Oh my god, Jace. <laughs> this is actually becoming ridiculous. Who's about interest? Give a pep talk. These are Simley's creations as well. Bright and day. Oh, she's, she's full. Oh, ew. Why <laughs> you smell? Oh, gross. Oh, you should go chat to, chat to this one. Chat to this one. Chat to Alexander Goth. 
Can we... Let's just chat. Let's just rhapsodize about piano... ...stuff. Express admiration. Let's see if he likes that. Oh my gosh, this is so bad how much she's smelling. <laughs> Cute outfit. This is a really sweet little uh little group we got going on here. Let's get her a drink for everyone. Let's get the sea of the fire. She's hanging out with the girls still. Oh, we have one of them going home. Where did Adelaide go? Oh no, she's here. Oh, Tell engaging That's story. Deep conversation. Oh, Cute Lord. dress you have there. Oh, my god, we should totally make friends with these girls and then when she gets married, we should have a full on hens party. That would be fun. Discuss interests. How are we actually going for the mood? Wow, Arya's in a superb mood. <laughs> Oh, did you just get us a drink, you cutie, Alexander? Give him a heartfelt compliment. Wow, three at once. That would be lethal. I feel like we really need to go home and have a little bit of a uh, shizwa, aka shower. Let's maybe invite him back. Ask to move in. Wow. Well, that escalated quickly. Uh, I don't. I don't know about that. Discuss neighborhood changes. Oh my God! Arya just learnt Jace's romantic. Did you not already figure out that he's a turtle skis? Alrighty, I think what we're going to do is probably finish up this part right here. I have enjoyed taking these girls out there. I hope you guys have too. Um, but yeah, basically, we have some girlfriends for Arya. They all look like they're very well off. Uh, I think they were actually made originally to be with Lionel. Lionel, so um, that's interesting that Arya's ended up being friends with him. And let me know what you think of Alexander Goth. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon.